I really, really dislike every single male that I met in Lancaster. They're all total losers. I mean, I met Mr. Butthead today. If it wasn't Beavis. I, well, I, I like the... The worser one would be Butthead. Dumb and... I, I ran Dumb and Dumber. Beavis and Butthead are really, really stupid cartoon figures. I do not like watching the cartoon. You know? Me laughing... A little, me laughing like, um, like I was imitating pretend a lot narcissist too was really, really bad off. But, you know, I mean, that's him. And I can't help it. People are that stupid. So, um, I thought I talked to a gentleman last Sunday. And, um, he never talked. So he talked on the phone. Anyone to sneak me in somewhere? I should have been assertive and said, you know, um, it was nice to have met you, but, uh, you know, I don't like, you know, your ideas. And, like, that one is, like, way off. And then he had, like, a little, uh, <laughs> leave it to Beaver little idea. Something that little Beaver, the bee, would come up with. I can sell some crap on my wagon. Yeah, I can sell, like, cigarettes, but that might be illegal. And then, um, t-shirts. I want to sell some t-shirts. And I can make soup. And soda. Make soup. What are you, hillbilly? <laughs> Why don't you sell soda along with some moonshine? Well, I'm, I'm not, he probably means, um, you buy cheap cans of soda at the Dollar Tree. And you sell them for a little bit more and make a quarter or something. Like, you know, you buy 50 cent soda can and sell for 75 cents. But who's going to buy a hot can of soda? Hmm, you didn't think too far ahead on that one. Okay, yeah. Alright, you know, that's something that Beave, the little Beave would come up with and his father would tell him. Um, just think about that, son. It'd be really hard to get that together. And then, you need, uh, what you need is you need the customer. What customer is going to walk over to your little wagon and be like, really interested in your wagon? Like, what what's on your wagon for them to buy? Bad idea. <laughs> really bad idea. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> um, he sets him up. He's, I talked to this person... He talked to me on the phone. And he sets himself up for failure every single week. Oh, I'm going to come in the Lancaster. I have enough money to buy something. And then I don't know where to sleep. Maybe I can sleep at my friend's. It's like, oh my god, that's a really, really bad idea. I mean, and he's homeless. He's living somewhere he shouldn't live. Okay. Where you work all week, where's your money go? Bad, 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 bad situation. Every single guy I know is a total cheapskate. Never, ever has any money. Always desperate for money. Like, is that desperate for money? I'm going to sell t-shirts on my wagon. I mean... It's nice to try to have a, a positive thought, but, like, right off the bat, I mean, that's a little kid's idea, and, uh, it's nice to have a positive thought, is all I'm saying. It's nice for that 
person have a, a positive thought. That's nice. But it's a bad idea. You, know, you can't just go and have a wagon slash <laughs> a homeless grocery cart and try to sell your crap off. <laughs> I mean, it's just not a good idea. It just, it ain't. Man. So, I mean, I don't feel sorry for that person. Um, guess they work probably every day. And then what do you do with your money? Just waste it. And stay in places where you're not allowed to stay. I mean, you're going to... Wait, I should go over to where you are and you can sneak me in. And can I spend the night? Absolutely not. Oh, my God. I hate, I hate all of the cheapskate, insane men in Liecast Tour. I mean, they're, they're just like, they are little kids. They're, they're very, um, you know, you might as well be, I mean, yeah, to say they are like, um, Beaver, only leave it to Beaver is smarter, okay, <laughs> Than these men that I meet. That are just... They just don't... Make any sense. You know. It, so what if you work all the time? Like my ex-boyfriend from a year ago. And supposedly he's gonna move the first. Yeah, right. But, I mean, I, everyone lies in Leicester. I mean, I hope that... Uh, he had a really bad childhood. So I hope that it's better for him where he's going where he's going to live at. I hope it's better. And apparently that was a total lie because he's like, oh, that's only five minutes away from where he's living at. So he's living in Lancaster. And if I'm if I'm his girlfriend, wouldn't you tell your girlfriend where you move to? <laughs> like, this is such a bullshitter. Just, all these lies in Lancaster, all these guys, you know, it's just like, um, I'm not impressed by anything that you're saying. You're nuts. I mean, I don't care if God, if, if you have a job. I'm just like, oh, okay, well, if you have a job, then try to live a somewhat of a normal life, which is you'd have a place. And my ex-boyfriend was never, he had a place, he was never there. Why, so, man, why, why don't you just give it to the guy that I just met last Sunday? <laughs> like, I don't know. Give, um, uh, you know, give your place to him so I, you know. <laughs> and they both get, uh, he does what he shouldn't do either. So, they do what they shouldn't be doing that's illegal, which is cop. <laughs> drugs. They do drugs. They say it's cocaine, but I think it's, <laughs> I think it's meth, or what, what do they, they do fentanyl today. Everything's fentanyl. And you, you should die on that shit, whatever it is. Okay. And apparently, you know, some people are totally insane. They're like, oh, oh I just want fentanyl. <laughs> I don't need to see how people fucking live. Oh my God. So I'm not where I should be in my assertiveness. Like, on the phone, I should have just said, it's very nice to have met you, and I'm sorry of your poor circumstances, but I'm not into what you do. To be honest, sir. And I'm not. So I take... I act like my dad too much. Not telling the per Not being assertive in what I think. For some reason, I am to pretend a lot narcissist. It's because we're done. And I, I love myself, and he absolutely wants to destroy me. But, like, I don't know, a stranger that I met that I talked to last Sunday. I mean, total stranger. Finally, talk to me. And, uh, yeah, all your ideas really, really suck. <laughs> He's like... And you have a job, so 
I, you know, it's just like Pretend Lot Narcissist. Why did he? Oh my god, it's 10 minutes already. Why did Pretend Lot Narcissist have a job? He never made any sense, and he never did any drugs. He's just insane. Just to give it to a stranger. Give $200,000 in 10 years to a stranger. That's insane. Oh, I need a job. I have to pay off my debt. What? Why are you giving your money away? It's not even like, you know, a family member, like a daughter that you, like, whatever, you know, a, 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 you know, a, a child that you had or your parents. Yeah, I mean, people sometimes work to death and they give their money to their children and their mom and dad. Like, yeah, there's no purpose for insane men that I've met for them to work. Uh, you know, you work to make money to do something good with your money. And like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All the men I met are total jackasses. Not kid friendly. And they don't have a brain. They're just totally insane with no brain. Insane in the membrane. Okay, so I have to be assertive and call that um, butt head up. <laughs> he's dumber. He's not dumb. He's dumber. And he's butthead. He's not Beavis. He's butthead. Come up, be assertive, and say, you know, um, I have to try to get my life together. <laughs> Guess what? I never had a life. Okay, so I'm trying to live the best that I can, and I can't put up with bullshit, nonsense, crazy shit. Can't put up with crazy shit. Can't put up with somebody working and, uh... Yeah, well, why'd you work? What for? Oh, I gave all my money away. Oh, I, I did eat drugs. Time on. Do you can't they figure out that maybe they shouldn't do that? Maybe I shouldn't give all my money to one individual. Maybe I should stop doing drugs. And, oh, I have a reason to live. And, um, uh, okay, um... You know, I'd like to, like, um, eat in a nice restaurant. Yeah, none of the men that I ever knew in my cast tour, except uh, me and my first... My first boyfriend was completely different from all these insane nuts. Nutty guys, you know, it's like... It, it would be nice to go into a decent restaurant, but then you kind of can't trust... I don't trust restaurants, because I don't know what they do with their food. But, at any rate, um... Whatever. Go to a nice store and buy something nice. And have a place and bring back the nice thing to your place. There's not one guy that I knew of in Lancaster that was capable of doing that. I, they're just totally nuts. <laughs> My God, they all need to go to the loony bin, man. All the guys I meet, seriously. 